Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect. We are in Hell, aka Navaria, and we have a quest to find a cure for some of these uh, staff members of theirs. So let's see what we can do. So going down to quarantine labs and the barracks. We got access to the quarantine labs, but those are actually not uh, what the sealed passageway actually leads to. If you do try to uh, go through that sealed passageway by uh, using decryption, which is quite easy, um, the whole station turns against you because you're not supposed to break in. So don't do that. And here's another social area, and there's Han Ol Olar that we've heard so much about. You came to find out about them, didn't you? Correct. You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. Yep. So tell me about it. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Yeah, preposterous. Like, the title told you that long, long time ago. <laughs> but yes, I suppose in the universe they didn't see the title, so... Uh, yeah, finding Rachni here, quite strange. Because people thought they were extinct. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. Well, so far he doesn't seem to be too crazy. Aside from the Rachni being perhaps a bit strange, but, you know, not that surprising, really, for the players. I heard you were at the Hot Labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Mua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram. And I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. So basically, you're Isaac. Good to know. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Hmm. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Okay, so a favor for a favor, I suppose. Could Matriarch Venezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. No. Oh. Huh. They are? Well, I'll have to use more biotics on them then. So... I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. You don't say. <laughs> I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, where does this go? You're not part of the crew. Uh. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Rude. What do you want? Nothing. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Rude. These people are so rude. 
Also, storage locker. Let's take it. Oh, this is not a very good pattern. Come on, come on. There we go. Assault rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle. Yeah, I heard this before too. Still quite amusing. Positive hydrogen atoms. Yay. Gotta keep the mood light. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll. Yeah, you, you just have to. Fair enough. I used to have some nightmares like this. Too many cheap horror vids before it lights out. Hmm. I should have taken my vacation. No, I have to get those last few alleles nailed down. Hmm. We were running on batteries before the connection to Central was restored. Okay, that does make sense. So I guess it's better now. It could be worse, right? I could be one of those guys in the med bay. Or, you know, you could be dead. I'm more afraid of the guards now. They've been getting twitchy. I can see that. You'll do something about those things, right? I'll try. I used to have a nightmare. Gotta keep the mood light. I mean... Don't laugh, you old. Yeah. You just have to. Maintenance area. Serves to authorize personnel. Okay. So the only way through is here. So let's do that. Let's see what we can find. Three doors. Make cure access. Uh, what? 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 Start mixing switch file. Oh, okay. Need to click when it's in between. Oh. Wow, that is fast. No. Arg. Actually, I don't remember ever playing this. That's a bit weird. Did I always just broke in or something? Your mission ends here, Shepard. What? Ambush. What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. Rude. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Let's take them out. Yeah, I think uh, the ambush is on you. She is an Asari commander, though. Uh, well, tough luck. Ouch. She gets priority. Well, that was pretty nice carnage. <laughs> and we get some more crates to open. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, well, at least we have a shop right here. Storm Banshee Raptor. And we probably have some, yeah. Just weave Tsunami 6. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see. Do you have a better weapon? Like of six. Uh, no, I think damage is more important. And polonium tungsten rounds. Polonium rounds are pretty good. Um. Do you have something here? Yeah, I do use... No, not tungsten. It's plenty of rounds. And 
I have incendiary rounds, which are fine. Yeah, so now I just have to go back and... Uh, oh, also, I leveled up. And yeah, this is the time that we start getting only one skill point per level up. Very sad, but... Oh well. Also, since we are getting only one, and I really, really want to get Master Adrenaline Burst by the end of this, even though it's not optimal, I will invest into that first, I think. And then either go for shotguns or more assault training. And then, at the very end of the game, I'll just invest into barrier. So, assault training it is. Gara gets more throw, and Garrus gets Master Overkill. Pretty cool. Alright, well... The station got a bit better. Medical kit. Okay, at least this gives us some gel. Yeah, I don't remember this ever happening at all to me. So I must have skipped this part altogether previous times. You learn something new about this game every day. And yes, I have too many items, I know that. So we have the cure. Things are going quite nicely. They came out of there. Oh. What? The Geth? Also... Ayalus? You mean the Geth? The inorganics the Asari had <laughs> Inorganics. Venezia brought them with her. Yeah, yeah, we kind of figured. Could Matriarch Venezia survive in the hotland? It's possible. And the specimen... I'll be leaving now. Oh, oh, there's an air station. Okay. Cool. So let's go back up and sell a whole bunch of weapons to these people. And so much for the only Asari here, aside from Liara. Hmm. Still, what made her think that a four-person team could take on a team of three, which includes one Spectre? Like, really? Relieved. It's pleasant to see you well. Indeed. Let's have a look. Regretfully... Most of my stuff. Yes, yes. I'm here to sell, not to buy. And yes. All the weapons that are level 4 can go. Hmm, how explosive 5. And in fact, all the weapons that are level 5 can go too, I think. Hmm, maybe. Well, the shop is very close, so I can sell some things quite easily, even if I don't sell too much right now. So... Okay, there's Cryo Explosive 6, so I can sell Cryo Explosive 5, and I can sell this. It's the only level 5 weapon also. Okay, okay. There are too many tungsten rounds. Fusion explosive, high explosive, incendiary explosive. Pistols from Heliot, pistols from Devlon. Ah, there we go. Elkos combine, Han Kadar, ERTS, Devlon, Delflon, Batarian State Arms, eh. Ariake. Han Kadar. Sell, sell. Ryaki, Ryaki, Haliot, Haliot, Haliot. Devlon. Armor. ERCS, ERCS, ERCS. 
that one, that one, that one. And yes, otherwise I think we are fairly okay. Well, the level 5 upgrades are pretty much not really useful anymore. Not all that useful anyway. But I might as well keep it still here. Actually, I am getting very close to having 999999. And that would not be good because that's the maximum and afterwards you just keep losing money. So I don't want to sell any more. And let's deliver the cure. Is that the cure? You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. Hmm. Yes. I saw that. Hmm. Hmm. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Hmm. Okay, well, we don't really need any magic gel, but whatever. Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these for me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Okay, wow, that's a lot of Paragon. And yeah, we got zero mage so I guess he didn't lose anything after all. So what's our uh, status? Wow, we are way too Paragon. I need to change this at some point. <laughs> Eventually we will get full Paragon and we won't be able to get any more use out of that. Alright. Can we... This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. Yeah, that still doesn't do anything. Science is resting peacefully. Thank you for your note. Uh, text. Alright, so that worked out, and we got a maintenance pass, but let's, uh, talk to Ventralis again, perhaps? Been counting your kills. I'm up to 24. Or... how about... Palon? What's on your mind? I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Yeah, yeah. So we can either go to the maintenance area, but I still want to talk to Ventralis and see what he thinks about this whole thing. Also, I wonder if this is the security area. Maybe, or maybe not. Something you need? I was attacked by the Asari who was in here. She killed your guard. Dr. Ayalis? But she seemed like the most stable one here. She was a huntress pledged to the Matriarch. A group of Geth were with her. Geth? I didn't know. God's honest truth, I thought she was just another egghead. Son of a bitch. Hmm. Okay. So I don't suppose he has anything new to say. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the unit. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long I've got work to do. You and me both. Can I tell you about the hot labs? I will go there. Still, he doesn't give us permission to go 
inside. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just go there ourselves. Well, not directly there, but through the maintenance area. There's nothing but snow, he says. I bet there is some sort of a passage there that leads to the area. I do not like this place. Too many dark secrets. Quite. Yeah, here we go. To the maintenance area we are. Okay. It certainly has a lot of snow, yes. But is that all that this area has? No, there's Rachni. out quite well. Journal. 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 Oh, Rift Station. Sneak again. You've entered an unguarded back door into the sealed areas of Rift Station. The guards are not alerted to your presence. Okay. So, let's pretend that we are supposed to be here. Also, storage lockers. Must unlock all of those. Hmm. Pretty good stuff. So where are we on the map? Okay. Oh, no. Don't do that. So there's a quarantine lab that we got to... Tram elevator. Oh, okay, we're all the way here. Okay, and there's the secure lab. There's the secure lab there, and there's a layer to restricted area. Okay, let's go to the secure lab first, I suppose. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Uh, I wasn't expecting a sudden boss fight. I guess. Let's see if we can actually get out of this without uh, fighting, but I doubt that. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict with her. Rude. Hostile contact! The SES power level, huh? That's interesting. But yes, we are against the Sari Commandos and pretty much nothing else, and there is hardly any cover here. Not that cover helps that much against biotics, well, it does make it so that you can avoid that by just not having line of sight. Okay. 
one down. this time and someone dropped some crates over there I guess that's because of our biotics okay how about this no no don't do that no don't do that either ah stop that Get away, get away, get away, get away. Okay. Sorry, command was down. I need to heal. And I need to get rid of that Sorry, command too. So how about... You guys focus on this Sorry, command Okay, so far so good. And there's Vanessa. Can we just uh, fight her and ignore everything else? Possibly. Rude. Stop that, come on. I think she is invulnerable. Time for revenge. Charging up. Ah, there's the Geth sniper. Yep. More Geth. Looks like Benessia is losing some power. And this is a very nice spot. Ouch, 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 ouch. Snipers, snipers everywhere. So what? Uh, okay. No longer bugged out. Okay, I need that. I need to not get shot by Benazia. Okay. That's fine. Oh. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Go, 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 go. There we go. I need to wait until I can use an edge gel because I'm way too low. And then these guys. 
I can disable all of them. What is this? Yeah, there we go. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. Hmm, so Saren is controlling you? How can he compel you? He's not even here. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Hmm. Yeah, it was on Eden Prime. We saw it leave. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Mew Relay? Well, that's new. Also, yes, how do you lose a relay? How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Oh, it's nice having a chat about physics with what you thought was a dragon for your arch nemesis. Um, so I don't suppose you have it, actually. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the Relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Well... So you know the location. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Hmm. So they searched for the Relay itself also. Why does Saren need the new Relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. Hmm. Okay, so the Mew Relay leads to the Conduit. Hmm. And the Conduit is, of course, what Sarah needs to bring the return of the Reapers. Okay, give me that information. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribe the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. 
His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh You should... Oh, you should... Mother, I... Don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Engaging target. Well, it's always nice to hear more Marina Sirtis. Since I've watched most of Star Trek. Star Commandos over here. Whoop. Okay, I need barriers. Stop falling off. Okay, what can I do here? This, I guess. Okay, that worked. a barrier. Okay, that didn't affect me, so yeah. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> Welp. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Uh, well, the Ragnar Queen seems to be speaking. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Yep. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the springs, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. Hmm. So the other Rachni are corrupt. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, 
They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. Okay, fair enough. So that's a bit of a hand wave thing of how the remaining Rachni are still uh, hostile to you. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. All right, so this is one major decision. Either to release the Rachni Queen, or to kill the Rachni Queen. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Hmm. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. So basically, you don't know. Well, that sounds very sketchy. But thinking about it, what would Dalton do? He's certainly not one who would uh, just go around killing things without any good reason. And so far, nobody has given him any reason that would say that killing the Rachni would be more ethical than leaving them be. So, the obvious choice is leaving them be. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. bunch of Paragon points and another level up and stuff and I really need to save and finish this video because it's been way too long I might be running out of disk space even so that was quite a video and I will see you all next time when we uh, continue going through Navaria because we're still not quite done later